Oh. Oh, crap. Yes, yes, yes. Last one. Last one. Oh, no. He's building on me. Yo. Yo, Hammer. Yo, yo, Hammer. Come quick. Come and look at this. I'm about to win. Uh, uh, he's got a rocket launcher. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you see that, Hammer? Let's go. Yo, Hammer. How you doing, anyway? Yo, what's that you've got? Is that a new sniper? What? Yo, 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 yo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we even start this video, we are sponsored by FlexiSpot. So guys, FlexiSpot has been kind enough to send me one of their amazing stand-up desks, which I literally love. From the press of a button, you can decide whether to sit down whilst gaming or stand up. Now, I've always struggled with back problems, but at FlexiSpot, every day they imagine, design, and bring to life ergonomic solutions that help people lead healthier and more productive lives, especially for, for us gamers that game for 12 hours plus per day. Now this particular desk I have is called the E5. It's a very good price and as you can see right here, just by the press of a button, I can raise it higher or I can lower it, which is perfect for mobile gaming. So my back isn't arched as much. Now go down into my description and comment section for links to their website and get yourself one too. They not only provide amazing desks, but also really, really cool accessories such as this, this amazing dual monitor stand for both of my monitors. You can twist, move, and do anything you like with them. Trust me guys, try out a desk like this. You will not look back. Ooh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another creative destruction video. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this video totally raw with you guys, okay? The developers have just released some brand new patch notes for the game for Season 11, which comes out this week. And you guys don't want to miss out on this. I literally cannot wait to read this to you guys. So we are literally just gonna hop into it straight away. And I'm gonna tell you right now, we're getting a brand new sniper and it sounds OP. So let's check this out. So we've got the maintenance notice right here, guys. I'm gonna read through it. Important, as a lot of content will be covered by this maintenance, it will take place one day earlier than usual. The servers will be shut down for maintenance on June 24th, Wednesday. So, season 11, guys, isn't gonna come Thursday. It's coming one day earlier on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. How insane is that? Um, it says, please make sure you're ready in time. After this maintenance, season 10 will come to an end and season 11, title, title Pet Awakening will begin. So, new season, Pet Awakening. Dr. Armstrong and his machinists have developed a new technology, Armed Mechanical Pets. They've modified Hammer and give... Bruh. They've modified Hammer and given it the ability to help in battle. What? Sensing a serious threat, the Guardians immediately sprang into action, using their ancient powers to awaken the minds of some primitive creatures. This gave a crocodile the ability to understand human nature, making it a powerful partner in battle. As a result, the Battle of the Aurora Valley has entered a new era in which pets are awakening and demonstrating remarkable abilities. The pet system has been enabled in Season 11. All explorers can take one pet into battle with them. What? So we're going to be able to have a pet in battle that helps us fight. I mean, that's pretty freaking crazy. That's something totally new that they're in in incorporating in CD. I, I don't know how that's going to look or how that's going to be or how, what it's going to look like, but... Let me carry on reading. The system will give all explorers the pet hammer for free. The second pet, Bloodthirsty Crocodile, only costs a few star coins. 
Oh my god, the developers are actually adding things in so we can buy stuff with star coins. Let's go. So it looks like, guys, we're going to get a free pet hammer. And if we've got enough star coins, you're going to be able to buy a bloodthirsty crocodile as well. It says here, all pets have several levels of talent. When pets pick up fee uh, food and level up in battle, they will unlock a new level of talent. Explorers can choose one of two talents at each level. Go away. Just choose whichever the most suitable for you. Okay, I need to... I need to, like run this through my brain quickly of what the hell is actually happening right now okay so they're ad they're adding pets into the game so you're gonna be able to walk around with a pet in the aurora valley and the pet's gonna be able to help you fight although i don't think the pet's gonna be able to help you fight you're gonna be able to pick a pet and each pet like hammer or the crocodile are gonna have different abilities and what you need to do is you need to feed them throughout the the battle while you're while you're in the in the actual game you need to feed them throughout and the more you feed them the more they level up and the better abilities they give you it says here each one has two abilities so the abilities could be like extra damage the abilities could be like you get a you, you can upgrade your weapon to gold we really don't know but i mean that's that's kind of cool i mean i i really don't know what's happened i feel like the developers have just totally Got some brand new developers in and literally the game is just going to be go up from now. So, I mean, that's amazing. I cannot believe that is actually happening. That's crazy. Uh, so, I can't wait till Wednesday to actually find out what the hell that is. Uh, I'm going to carry on. As the conflict between the Machinists and the Guardians grows ever more intense, this season pass will give everyone suitably inspiring looks for the two factions, including Machinists... More skins, basically. Guardian Athena, Guardian Minerva, blah, 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 blah. Let's read on. I want to get to the juicy bit. So, the Season Pass Order. The Season Pass Order item has been added to the Flex Pass. Explorers can activate the Season Pass Order when Season Pass reaches level 30. Once the Season Pass Order has been activated, simply complete the missions as instructed to obtain epic and legendary looks as well as lots of discount vouchers. Oh, my God. They're doing it, guys. They're adding free earnable skins in the game. So, it says here... Once you get your usual battle pass to level 30, you're going to be able to unlock missions at level 30 and you complete those missions to gain epic and legendary skins. You are welcome again, guys. The developers have obviously saw my recent video of the Season 11 changes we want. We want it so we can actually earn skins in the game. Again, in the comments, hashtag thank you, Rose. That is absolutely insane. Now, getting on to the absolute best thing about this update. A new panel piercing sniper rifle with x-ray vision. The new firearm, the MA2A3 sniper rifle. This new sniper rifle can only be obtained from airdrops. It has the following features. The bullets can pierce panels. You can shoot through bullets. Uh, panels. The scope has x-ray vision. <sighs> Exclusive ammo and no need to reload. So, I'm going to tell you exactly what this is like, guys. This is like the Barrett rifle from Fortnite. It's going to have one bullet each chamber, so you're going to have to reload after every single bullet. You can shoot through the panels at someone. The scope has x-ray vision. This sounds like an absolute beast. I don't know how OP this is going to be, but it's quite good that they're only uh, making it so it's obtained from airdrops. If it was a normal sniper in the game, then it would seriously be OP. But the fact that the bullets can actually pierce panels. Exclusive ammo, guys, means that there's no need to reload. You're not going to be able to... Uh, if you guys have played Apex Legends, the Kraber sniper rifle, as soon as you run out of ammo in that, it's useless. So you've only got a certain amount of ammo in the sniper. You can't pick up sniper ammo and keep it forever you, you you probably only get like 10 bullets so i think that's absolutely incredible uh the fortune wheel updates they've added lots of new looks to the fortune wheel pretty cool and firearm adjustments they've significantly increased the firing rate of the m1915 shotgun which is good because the m19 double barrel shotgun was pretty crap before i don't really like it so i mean that is just absolutely crazy guys that they are adding all this stuff um i really feel like they they saw my previous video of the changes we want if you guys didn't uh see it uh go ahead and check it out um i basically go over all of the changes we need in the game and it looks like the developers are absolutely abs well actually listening so 
I think that's absolutely amazing. I'm so happy that the game is now finally, looks like it's been taken over by sort of new developers or the developers have somehow got new brains, but it seems like Creative Destruction is definitely on the up. So I feel like a lot of players are going to come back to the game. I hope a lot come back to the game. I'm going to carry on playing it. Remember, guys, I'm going to be playing it until Apex Legends comes out towards the end of the year. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Remember, the update is t uh, Wednesday, which is tomorrow for me. Uh, it might be different for some of you guys, but yeah, that is absolutely incredible. I, I love what they've done about this update. That's basically just the patch notes, guys. And also one thing, just to show you a picture of what these actually uh, these pets actually look like. Check this out. We've got the crocodile down there with a freaking AK. And we've also got the DJ hammer as well. Uh, so these are going to be the two pets that are going to be featured in Season 11. I think they look awesome. That crocodile looks amazing. I just really don't know how they're going to come about. I, I kind of hope that the pets don't uh, shoot. Because they're going to be like everyone's got an automatic turret. Or if they do shoot, just make them really weak so they can't actually do that much damage. Because it's going to be really annoying getting killed by one of these pets. Uh, but I think that's really cool. I think it's a really cool little feature. You, they might uh, bring new pet skins as well. So you can walk around with a freaking crocodile dressed as that dude behind Goku. Um, but yeah, that's, that's insane, guys. So that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for a new video tomorrow about the new update. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit a like on this video if you enjoy the content. Drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, boy!